Monday the 26th of October. This is the ETS Capital Morning Market Buy. US stocks ended the week in positive territory thanks to a rally in tech shares, uh, Microsoft earnings beat expectations and a rebound in healthcare stocks. The Dow closed 157 points higher at 17.646. The S&P 500 rose 22 points to close at 20.75. Asian stocks started the week in the black and are close to wiping out all of their losses since China's shot currency devaluation in August as global equities rallied after the Chinese central bank cut their rates. As negative yields undermine the attraction of holding the euro, traders pushed it to a two and a half month low of 1 spot 0989 in early tra Asian trade. It lasted at 1 spot 1031, bouncing back on profit taking. The yen dipped to 121 spot 60 to the dollar, its lowest since late August, as traders speculated the Bank of Japan might unleash additional easing on Friday before bouncing back to 121 spot 16 on profit taking. Within the commodity space, international benchmark Brent was 8 cents higher at 48.07 a barrel, but over 10% below this month's high. US crude futures stood at 44.68, hardly recovering after a fall of 5.5% last week, not far from the three-week low of 44.20, which was touched on Friday. Within the equity space, Intertech Group has acquired New York-based MT Group LLC, a materials testing lab, in a bid to expand its building and construction capabilities in the US. The FTSE 100 listed company announced the deal to acquire the materials testing and inspection services company for the building industry on Monday. The company said the deal supported Intertech's growth strategy in the sector in North America and complements its planned acquisition of PSI. Intertech stock is half percent lower in early trade at 2598p per share. That was the morning market bite. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.